30 minutes in Love Island time must be like two hours. Because when I tell you they dragged out this elimination, they dragged out this elimination process longer than 30 minutes, okay? But before we go ahead and get into this review, I need you guys to do me a favor. If this is your first time here, sit back, relax, and watch the video through. And if you like what you see, you like what you hear, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. If you're one of my lovely members or subscribers, hey y'all, how y'all doing? So let's just go ahead and get into Love Island USA Season 6, Episode 13. The men are still upset, completely upset. The house is in complete shambles and I'm sitting there looking like, damn, nobody cares about Hakeem. <laughs> they so focused on Andrea and Janae. They didn't even notice that Hakeem was eliminated as well. Rob's talking about how Andrea came here to build a connection and she did that. She came here to test that connection and she didn't get the chance to do that. Boo-hoo, Rob. Cry me a river, oh. Go ahead and just cry me a river, oh. He's telling us that his gut is telling him to walk out the door. Where well, there's the door, bitch, okay? There's the door. Walk out of it. No one's stopping you. I feel like he wants somebody to beg him so bad to stay in the house, and Aaron, Aaron is the one giving it to him. Because I'm sitting here trying to figure out why Aaron is doing the most. I mean, he is crying. Real tears. Not Rob tears, but real tears. Talking about it's just selfish, but I really want him to stay, but he got to do what's best for him. All in the same breath talking about how this ain't friend island. Sir, respectfully, shut the hell up. You're sitting there crying because you want your friend to stay in the house for selfish reasons, but then this not friend island? Because I bet if it came down to Rob, you would not eliminate him. So go ahead and be quiet and miss me with the bullshit. Aaron thinks that Leah and Liv set this up to get back at Rob because he don't want them. I need these men to really calm down because y'all act like Rob is holding this whole freaking house together. Nobody else feelings in this house matters except for what Rob is going through. Y'all doing too much, way too much to be men at that. The emotions are running high. Andrea said, they only picked Janae because they're closer to her. Um, a duh, a, a duh. Janae was never leaving. That's why I need you to understand, sis, she was never leaving. It was going to be you or Nicole. And I'm sitting here like, girl, go ahead. You only got 30 minutes. Go pack your bags. Janae's having a hard time because she feels bad. Because she does feel like maybe she should have went home. And Liv is like, no. We made the decision. You don't have to feel bad about nothing. We wanted you here and you're here. Point blank and period. I don't know about y'all, but Liv, sis, you get 10, 10, 10 all across the board for me this episode. And yes, Liv be stirring the pot. She definitely does. But I'm here for all of it. All of it, all of it. Rob, why you're not packing your bags? Hakeem's packing his bags. Why you're not packing your bags, mister? I'm going home too. You just eliminated three of us. Really? Really? Then he gonna go ahead and grab Andrea. I said she only got 30 minutes, Rob. He wants to talk to her. And he's like, what do you want me to do? And she's like, I really want to be with you. I really want to be with you. But I don't want you to have any regrets. Well, you know, I think, I think I'm going to stay in the house. We already knew you was going to stay in the house. And that fake slip up with the, I love you, sir, miss me with that. He really tried to act like he's about to tell that girl he love her. So, so, oh, no, 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 not love. I meant like. If you loved her or liked her as much as you say you do, you would have left this freaking house. I don't feel bad for you, Rob. Not one bit. So go ahead and get over it. So finally, I guess the 30 minutes is up and Andrea and Hakeem finally leave, which seems like 10 hours later because everybody just cannot understand what elimination process is, okay? So Nicole starts to talk to Liv about how she's mad at Rob. And once she tell her why she's mad, Liv was like, oh, ladies, come here. <laughs> ladies, come here. She, she has a good point. Listen to her point. I said, I know that's right. Liv was in there stirring that pot up. She was like, I'm just mad at Rob because he sat up there. He did all of that. And he riled up everyone and yelled at the girls. And he still didn't leave with her. Did y'all really think he was going to leave? Absolutely not. Rob is a drama queen, okay? He's here for the dramatics of it all. He's putting on a show. That man was never leaving, okay? Never. And to be honest, I'm with Liv. Liv was like, at the end of the day, the day got to end. <laughs> she 
She didn't say that. She said at the end of the day, majority rules. Andre had to get the hell up out of here, basically. Nicole took this opportunity to finally go open up to Kendall about how her and Miguel been talking, okay? And how Miguel kissed her. Not once did she mention that she went and kissed Miguel, okay? But she tells him, I still like you. Just want to get to know Miguel and get to know you. So Kendall's kind of okay with this at this point, okay? Because he feels like, okay, I understand she want to get to know Miguel, but that doesn't completely count me out, right? Now he's in a confession talking about some, I guess America got it right. Maybe our connection isn't as strong as I thought. I don't know how I didn't see this coming. Because you was out there dancing with Cordell instead of paying attention to the doc when Miguel was up there stealing your girl. I need you to calm down your silly and lock in. Focus, Kendall. Focus. There's things happening right under your eyes. And you're so busy trying to make everybody else feel better that you don't even realize that your girl's being snatched away right in front of you. Miguel finally tells Liv that he's definitely feeling Nicole and he really wants to get to know her. Liv is like, I'm cool with it. He told her that he kissed Nicole as well. She was like, I'm fine with that. Do what you need to do. She's just happy that he was up front with her. Liv, I gotta give it to you, sis. Very consistent. Very consistent. Kayla's not standing on business, okay? Because now she over there talking to Aaron, letting Aaron get in her head, and now she's crying because she has regrets because she wished she would have spoke up more. Let me tell you something, Kayla. There was nothing you was going to be able to say that was going to save Andrea in that house. Nothing. She was going home, okay? We just wanted Rob to go with her, and he didn't. <laughs> He's still here. So it's time for everybody to go to sleep because it's been a long night. Everybody needs to just sleep this off. Rob decides that he's going to go sleep in soul ties. Leo's like, he's so dramatic. And is. And definitely is. So everyone goes to sleep and the next day comes. The house is depressed. The house is divided. The men are still mad. The women don't understand why. But nonetheless, they standing on business, okay? I really just hate how one decision tore the house upside down as if Rob and Andrea was holding this ish together. Like, miss me with it. If they was that good of a couple or that great, they would have been safe. But they weren't. So get over it. Now, Miguel, you being messy. You being messy. Because you did not have to tell Kendall that Nicole said that she would be op that she would want to couple up with you during a recoupling ceremony. That is why Kendall's mad. Kendall's not mad that Nicole wants to get to know Miguel. He's mad because he already feels like she kind of made her decision. So of course he's not talking to her. Nicole's walking around the house. He's not talking to me. He's not talking to me. So when her and him finally get a chance to talk, he's trying to use that to his advantage, making it seem like he's so supportive. But not once did he mention that he told that man that she wanted to couple up with him during a recoupling. I'm sitting here like, mm, that's sneaky, Miguel. You're not playing fair. Not at all. But you know what? I kind of expect that, to be honest. I really do. The ladies are talking in the dressing room, and Nicole's like, I did not expect Rob to act like that. Leah's like, I totally expect it. Did you not just see what he did the other night when he did his big one? I was like, oh yeah, when he dived into the pool and all that stuff. I don't know why they underestimate this man, but this man is manipulating the whole entire house and he is getting on my god effing nerve. He even told Kendall, because Kendall's feeling some type of way about Nicole and Miguel, that he needs to straighten up and just wait for the next bombshells to come in the house. Already, he's ready to get over Andrea. I'm not buying anything that Rob is selling. I'm just going to put that completely out there, okay? Kendall's talking about something. I feel like a clown. I feel like I got a clown nose on. Because he realized he can't compete with Miguel because Miguel's out here doing handstands, walking and whatnot, putting on the show, and the girls is eating it up. Kendall, like I told you before, you need to tap in, sir. Clock in for work. You're playing games right now. And you're not going to be able to keep Nicole if you start feeling insecure about yourself. She loved your confidence. Where did it go? Leah's in a confession talking about, I feel bad for Rob, even though he put me through some weird stuff. I really just want him to be happy. Leah. Leah, I hear you, girl, but you and I ain't crazy. We know you still want Rob. We know that you're happy that girl out the house, so now you can go over there and snatch him on up. Kinda takes this opportunity to talk to Leah because he realized, dang, I might just lose my girl. 
But I really hope you do, Kana, because you deserve everything that's coming to you for the way you played in my girl Janae face, okay? So he talks to her and he asked her, like, why do the girls make that decision? Like, what was T? And she was like, we kind of just felt like Janae deserves more opportunity to meet more men so she can find a chance at building connections, okay? We felt as though Nicole had a whole situation going on with Miguel and Kendall, so she deserved to stay. When it came to Andrea, she felt they the ladies felt that she was locked in, so therefore she was not open to getting to explore other men in the house meaning that when other men will come in they wouldn't have a fair chance he was like oh okay the guys kind of feel like you and Liv set this up to get back at rob she was like so they think that i did this so that i can get back at rob or rather yet get rob back like what Leah wants to go on a tangent because she feels as though I have been nothing but supportive. I've laid back. I've said nothing. I let them have their relationship. I have done nothing. I want him happy and as long as he's happy, that's all that matters. I never talk bad about him to her, only to other people. So for him to think that is crazy. Then she goes over to them and she has this big old speech about how she's been nothing but supportive of him. I said, this cast is the cast of the theater, okay? Put them on the stage, baby. This is Broadway, okay? <laughs> <laughs> getting on my god darn nerve okay but i don't care about that speech leah because rob wasn't there to hear it now if rob was over there then i would have been like oh she's standing on business so when leah walked away janae was like so she's still like rob right yes janae to answer your question yes she still likes rob so now it's time for the backyard barbecue and i ain't seen cheers so i was like it seemed like everything is going to be calm tonight and i was right okay Rob decides to go talk to Janae and she asks him, did he understand why the woman made that decision? She just doesn't want him to be mad at her because the tension in the house is high and for some reason Rob pulls all the power, it feels like. He says he understands. Then she asks him, why didn't you just leave with Andrea? Why did you say? He said, you know, he didn't want to leave with any regrets. Cool, right? But then she asks him, so how do you feel about Leah? I said, come on, Janae. Janae, come on. <laughs> and he was like, I mean, of course I still like her. But she's with Connor and she's happy. And Janae was like, <laughs> not, not like you think. <laughs> not like you think. She's basically telling that man, Leah and Leah don't want Connor. So you still have a chance for her. Go get her. When I tell you that Rob and Leah are going to be the cycle of toxic in this house, they're going to be the cycle of toxic in this house. Remember a couple episodes I said that they're going to end up going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth all season. Baby, it's about to happen. I'm glad that Kendall and Nicole cleared the air. I really feel like by Kendall not talking to Nicole, she kind of realized that she really does like Kendall. So I'm hoping and praying they can work this out. She does tell him, I still want to be in a couple with you, but I still want to get to know Miguel. And then they hug it out. Which reminds me, once again, Miguel, I just remembered. You a sneaky mother effer. Because when he was talking to Nicole when they was outside, he tried to kiss her. He tried to kiss her and Nicole was like, no, not right now. Watch him. I'm watching you and I'm clocking you, sir. Watching and clocking. He's sneaky. Don't trust him. Serena and Cordell finally had like this real kiss. Not them little weird kisses they've been doing, but a nice real kiss. I'm not going to lie. They are a vibe. Seeing them dance together, laugh together, make out a little bit. I feel like they could be a great couple. I know, y'all. I'm a sucker for love. I love love. I want love. I want them to have love. I've always seen it for Serena and Cordell. But... <laughs> Y'all been telling me that as soon as the cute bombshell come in the house, Serena's out the door. So I'm just going to, you know, keep it cute for now. Keep it cute. <laughs> Kayla and Aaron still holding on strong. They still got their little magic handshake or whatever. Good for them. Leah goes to still rob. And that's when I was like, this house is about to go up in shambles again, okay? Let's start with next week they bringing in new bombshells. The new bombshell already says she's coming for Rob, right? Leah and Rob are sitting outside talking, making it seem as if they kind of like miss each other. They still care about each other. They still have some type of connection, right? And I'm saying here like, I expect nothing less from Rob and Leah. They are exactly the same people. They deserve each other. They should be with each other. She really, she basically tells him that she's not feeling kind of like that which opens the door for her to be available to him, right? 
they gonna try to rekindle this ish and then the new bombshell is gonna come in and try to still rob and Leah's gonna be crying in the corner again when I tell you it's gonna be a mess it's gonna be a mess and I'm gonna be seated okay I'm gonna be seated but you know what bothers me Aaron Aaron bothers me because as he sees Leah and Rob go to talk he's still talking about I feel like that was a bitch move like the way they set that up so that she could go be with Rob and I'm like why are you so invested in Rob do you want Rob you want that to be your man like what is it Aaron why are you more invested in what Rob got going on than what you got going on I'm starting not to like him just throwing that out there kind of sees Leah and Rob talking and now he's just sitting there looking like a little sad puppy uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I don't care. I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> I told you I'm going to laugh at your misery because you playing games, sir. The thing is, you didn't have to act like you were so locked in with Janae. You didn't have to do that. You could have just been open to getting to know her. But you even told, I think it was Andrea, like, oh, it's going to take a lot for me to get away from Janae. Not that much, obviously, because soon, as soon as Rob and Leah broke up, you was knocking at her door. So miss me with the BS. Sit there and sulk in your pity. I think you should go home next. I do. But we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. They have two new bombshells coming in. Two women, one man. Baby, let's get ready to rumble. We'll see how this all unfolds tomorrow. This episode was pretty mellow. They dragged out Andrea and Hakeem leaving for so daggone long that we couldn't really get into nothing else. But when I tell you tomorrow it's going to be a mess, it's going to be a mess. And I'll be back to talk to y'all about it. I hope you guys like this review. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Like the video. Like the video. Share. Share. Let's build a community. Go ahead and leave me some yellow hearts if you have nothing to comment. And let me know your thoughts down below. With all that being said, I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.